Welcome to the latest and very easy to apply Facebook Remarketing 3.0 video training. Designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of getting the most out of Facebook as a remarketing machine for your business. I'm very excited to have you here and I know that this will be very helpful for you. This exclusive video training will show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool what you need to know to dominate Facebook remarketing in the easiest way possible using the most effective tools and in the shortest time ever. This video training is comprised of 20 HD training videos organized into four sections. This is exactly what you are going to learn. Section 1. Facebook Remarketing Basics In videos 1 through 4, we'll talk about what is Facebook all about. What is Facebook Remarketing? How can Facebook Remarketing help your business? Shocking Facebook Remarketing Facts to Consider Section 2. Facebook Remarketing Step by Step In videos 5 through 10, we'll talk about Facebook Walkthrough, Facebook Ads Manager Walkthrough, Creating a Facebook Remarketing Pixel, Adding the Facebook Remarketing Pixel to your business website, Custom Audiences, Creating a Facebook Remarketing Campaign, Section 3, Advanced Facebook Remarketing Strategies. In videos 11 through 16, we'll talk about remarketing to your existing customers, remarketing to app users, Remarketing to engagement audiences. Remarketing to users who never open your emails. Using content series to remarket to hard-to-get leads. Additional Facebook remarketing tips and tricks. Section 4. Additional tips to consider. In videos 17 through 20, we'll talk about do's and don'ts, premium tools and services to consider, shocking case studies, and frequently asked questions. Well... It's time for you to start getting the most out of Facebook as a remarketing machine on behalf of your business. I know you'll love this training. Hey there everyone. Welcome to our newest video training series where we are going to take a different approach at paid advertising, one that will basically transform the way you make a return on investment. You, as a marketer, are pretty much well aware that getting people to reach your business online is not easy, let alone getting them to convert. And you also know that you have to go to great lengths to build an audience through paid advertising and organic marketing. But the results are just short of miraculous when done right. The thing is, what do you do after a successful advertising campaign ends? And what do you do with your existing audience? Most marketers decide to keep their audience engaged with content and by adding them to mailing lists. But what if you could do more? Well, we've got good news for you. Because you can easily profit from your existing audience by way of Facebook remarketing. And we are going to tell you all about it in this video training series. And we are going to start this video training series with the basics section. In this section, we are going to talk about what is Facebook remarketing from top to bottom. The contents in this section include What is Facebook all about? What is Facebook remarketing? How can Facebook remarketing help your business? Shocking Facebook remarketing facts to consider. So let's get started by answering the following question. What is Facebook all about? Facebook is a worldwide social media phenomenon with almost 2 billion active users a month. It has become such a popular platform thanks to its easy to use social platform and features. The main draw of the Facebook platform is that it allows its users to create personalized social profiles that they can use to get in touch with other users by adding them as friends on their social network. The platform's popularity along with its accessibility has made it the go-to site to find old friends at a distance and to meet new people. Users can also use Facebook to play games, to chat with their Facebook friends and to share video content. Facebook users can also create and share photo albums comment on other people's profiles, and create groups where families and groups of friends can share content privately. Facebook has also become an attractive platform for businesses of all sizes because it offers companies and organizations across all industries to reach their ideal audience. Facebook's social nature makes it the perfect online channel for businesses eager to reach and engage potential customers because there, they can create their own social profiles in the form of Facebook pages. 
Facebook pages are designed to allow small businesses, big companies, brands, organizations, and artists to use the platform the same way that any regular user would, with the added benefit of cost-effectively building a qualified audience. Furthermore, Facebook pages allow businesses to promote and remarket their products and services through Facebook's own advertising platform. Tune in to the following video to learn more. What is Facebook remarketing? Hey there, folks. Let's now talk about the main topic of this video training series. Let's talk about a paid advertising strategy so effective that you will wonder why you haven't heard about it before. Do you think it is unfair to pay top dollar on advertising to reach leads that will click through your ads and then land on your website without taking action, leaving soon after? Do you think that it is unfair that those unconverted leads will possibly forget that they were on your site a few minutes later? The harsh truth is that the majority of leads that you reach with ads will not convert. In fact, about only 5% of leads end up converting. But what if we told you that there is a way to re-engage those lost leads, even when they were seemingly uninterested in your business? Let's talk about remarketing and about why Facebook is the perfect remarketing platform. First, what is remarketing? Remarketing is an online marketing method that advertisers employ in order to stay relevant to bounce traffic and non-converting leads. As a paid advertising strategy, it will allow you to reach out to leads long after they've clicked through your ads or visited your website. Remarketing works by following the steps of your potential customers across the internet. All you have to do is to insert a code provided by your remarketing network on your website that saves a tracking cookie on your visitors' browsers, which then tracks visitors and shows them adverts wherever they go. The secret behind remarketing's efficiency as an advertising strategy is in how it can help you to re-engage leads that are showing interest in your business, not only by clicking on your ads, but also by visiting your site while browsing organically. That is why remarketing is used by many online marketers as a complementary advertising strategy, as it allows them to send people to the business website that they are promoting through ad units and then to retarget those same users through retargeting ads. What makes Facebook the perfect remarketing platform? As you might already know, Facebook is one of the most effective advertising platforms around and one that is often preferred by agencies and professional marketers thanks to its cost effectiveness, its wide ad inventory, and because of its 2 billion active monthly users. And it so happens that one of the most lauded features of the Facebook advertising platform is Facebook remarketing, which offers advertisers better audience targeting options than any other remarketing platform. That is because the Facebook remarketing platform allows advertisers to set up custom audiences that go beyond website visitors. With Facebook remarketing, you will be able to retarget existing customers, Facebook app users, and in-store customers. One of the advantages of the Facebook remarketing platform is that it relies on pixel codes instead of tracking cookies, making up for more accurate remarketing campaigns. Want to know how else your business can benefit from Facebook remarketing? Tune in to the following video to find out. How can Facebook remarketing help your business? If you thought that paid advertising was a necessity, then you will be surprised at how remarketing can help your business, especially on Facebook. In fact, you would be leaving a lot of money on the table if you don't get into Facebook remarketing as soon as you finish watching this video training series. Here are the benefits of introducing your business to Facebook remarketing you will be re-engaging potential customers on the largest social network to date. Chances are that your potential customers are already using Facebook. Don't just take our word for it. Studies have found that close to 80% of Internet users use Facebook, and a good chunk of them are using it daily. And you can bet that a good portion of your target audience is in that 80%. That means that, for example, anyone visiting your site it's very likely to have Facebook open on another tab on the same browser, 
which will allow you to immediately show them ads on their newsfeed. Facebook remarketing is actually conversion driven. Most remarketing platforms rely on tracking cookies to retarget website visitors. The bad news is that tracking cookies track all types of visitors, which means that a significant amount of your remarketing budget will go towards retargeting unqualified, uninterested leads. Facebook, on the other hand, relies on its marketing pixel code, which actually tracks people who have taken certain actions on your website. And these actions can be predefined by yourself, and they include visits to specific pages, items added to shopping carts, time spent on website, and many others. Facebook remarketing increases brand recall. Facebook remarketing campaigns are better at generating brand recall than any other remarketing network because they allow your business to connect with potential customers on a more personal level, no matter your marketing objective, because they will allow you to reach them right when they are using Facebook. It works because leads that are retargeted with your remarketing ads on Facebook after being on your site will remember your business as a go-to brand when looking for your products or services. Facebook remarketing generates repeat business. You can use Facebook remarketing ads to retarget existing customers in several interesting ways. For example, you will be able to retarget your customers on Facebook by using data such as their email addresses to offer them upsells and time-sensitive offers which will increase your sales and profits. Facebook remarketing is cheap. The reason why the majority of small businesses and entrepreneurs decide to not get into paid advertising is not because they are afraid to fail, but because they are operating on restricted budgets that do not allow them the luxury to experiment with advertising campaigns. Facebook advertising, though, is recognized as a very cheap alternative to most advertising networks, and not cheap in the bad way but cheap because the platform can afford to allow advertisers to cheaply target its enormous user base. And it gets better with remarketing, because ads only get cheaper down the pipeline as long as your ad units keep your potential audience engaged. Want to learn more fascinating stuff about the Facebook remarketing platform? Then make sure to tune in to our following video. Shocking Facebook Remarketing Facts to Consider While only 2% of website visitors are ready to buy at any given moment, 70% of people that are retargeted through Facebook remarketing campaigns are more likely to convert, which means that business websites are given several second chances to convert the remaining 98%. Facebook remarketing has become such a powerful trendsetter when it comes to advertising that 88% of surveyed digital marketers said they used Facebook remarketing. Facebook remarketing campaigns are way more effective when compared to other advertising strategies, generating up to 10 times better click-through rates when compared to display and search ads. Facebook remarketing can easily improve the performance of other marketing channels. In fact, it has been found that Facebook remarketing can boost search performance by 74%, email marketing performance by 68%, and display advertising performance by 61%. Branded searches, or searches generated by brand recall, increase by a whopping 1,046% when inspired by Facebook remarketing, which means that by the simple action of reminding people of your brand's existence with remarketing ads on Facebook, you will be increasing the chances of your brand being searched by a thousand times. On the same note, online stores that use Facebook remarketing tactics to retarget both their potential and existing customers improve their performance by an awesome 726 percent. On average, as much as 80 percent of a business's revenue will be generated from only 20 percent of its existing customer base. But when businesses introduce Facebook remarketing strategies into their advertising efforts, they start seeing a significant increase in traffic and sales generated by remarketing, with $10 delivered by every $1 spent on remarketing. Facebook has been recognized as a top-performing advertising channel by up to 30% of digital marketers. And it has also been recognized as a driving factor into making social media the best-performing marketing channel for a lot of marketers due to its powerful social remarketing features. The results speak for themselves. Facebook remarketing delivers 1.77 times more impressions over two times more clicks, and 1.42 times more conversions when compared to other advertising channels. 
Facebook remarketing on mobile gets even more impressive. Recent studies by third-party Facebook remarketing service providers have found that when marketers add mobile-sized ads to their Facebook remarketing campaigns, their average performance increased with 4% more impressions, 29% more clicks, and 15% more conversions. The recent years have seen an increase in the number of marketers dedicating a significant amount of their advertising budget to Facebook remarketing. With up to 14% of marketers spending up to 50% of their advertising budget on it, which means that it works so well that the number of marketers dedicating half their advertising budget on it is growing year after year. 67% of online remarketing service providers are using the FBX or Facebook Exchange platform to buy the remarketing ad inventory, which means that the Facebook remarketing platform is the perfect remarketing platform. Hey there everyone, welcome to section 2 of our Facebook Remarketing 3.0 video training series where we are going to teach you how to get started with Facebook Remarketing step by step. From a general overview of the Facebook main site as well as of the Facebook advertising platform all the way to the Remarketing campaign setup. This section has been designed to provide you with the necessary information and how to make the most practical use of the Facebook Remarketing platform. In this section, you will find the following material. Facebook walkthrough. Facebook ads manager walkthrough. Creating a Facebook remarketing pixel. Adding the Facebook remarketing pixel to your business website. Custom audiences. And creating a Facebook remarketing campaign. So let's get started now with the first video on the list. The Facebook walkthrough video. Facebook walkthrough. Unless you have been living under an internet rock for the last 10 years, it is statistically a given that you already have a Facebook account and that you know how to use it for basic social networking. But we consider that in order to teach you all about Facebook remarketing, we need to show you the basic structure of your entire Facebook account first. Let's start from the very beginning, right after you sign in to your Facebook account and land on the home page. From where you will have access to several tabs and buttons that will take you to every feature offered by your Facebook account. The most notable feature is Facebook's news feed which is where all updates and posts from friends and pages will be shown to you. This is perhaps the part of Facebook that you are the most familiar with. So let's move on from here. It is here in the news feed where most Facebook remarketing ads are served. They are also served on the right-hand column. So you can expect your remarketing adverts to appear on both placements. Now, right on top of the timeline is the Compose Post section, from where you will be able to create your Facebook posts and updates. Other types of posts that you will be able to set up from this section include photo or video album posts. You will also be able to launch live video sessions using the live video feature. Now moving to the upper panel, you can access your profile by clicking on the profile tab with your name and your picture. On your profile menu, you will be able to use the profile button to go to your profile, to add accounts or to switch accounts. On your profile, you will find your own timeline, an about tab to add and modify your personal info, a Friends tab to manage your contacts, a Photos tab to manage your pictures and your photo albums, and a More tab to discover detailed information about your Facebook likes. You can also easily change your profile picture by clicking on the Update Your Profile Picture button under your current profile picture, and to add a cover photo by clicking on the Add a Cover Photo button. By clicking on the Home tab, you can go back to Facebook's home page. By clicking on the Find Friends tab, you can see your friend requests your friend recommendations, and to look for Facebook friends using the filtering options available in the Search for Friends section. The icons in this panel represent your notifications, and from left to right, they are friend requests, messages, and general notifications. The question mark icon is a quick help shortcut. Now, by clicking on the drop-down menu icon, you will be able to access your pages, to view your activity log, to set up newsfeed preferences, to access your account settings, and to log out of Facebook. You will be able to use the search bar on top to use Facebook as a search engine. You will simply have to enter a keyword in the search bar and then to either click on the search button or to click on any of the search bar suggestions based on the keyword that you entered. Once in the search results page, you will be able to refine your search by posts, people, photos, videos, shop, pages, places, groups, apps, events, and you can filter your results according to criteria that is unique to each type of result. 
Though on the lower right corner, you'll find the Facebook Messenger, which is a platform's chat feature. You can click on it to see your online contacts and to click on them to start a chat. Let's now look at the menu on the home page's left-hand column. This menu features shortcuts to basically every feature available on Facebook, including groups, events, games, live video, pages feed, save posts, buy and sell groups, and the explore feed, among many others. Lastly, under this menu, you will find the options to create an ad, a page, a group, or an event, all right for your Facebook homepage. As you can see, Facebook is a powerful platform that will allow you to do more than basic social networking and browser gaming, with powerful features such as search filters and an advertising dashboard, which is from where you will be doing your remarketing. We are going to take a detailed look at this Facebook advertising dashboard in the following video, so make sure to tune in. Facebook Ads Manager Walkthrough Hey there folks, just like we promised, we are going to walk you through the Facebook Advertising Dashboard in this video. So let's continue right where we left off on our previous video, by clicking on the Add Shortcut link on the Create section located under the left hand column menu to go to the Facebook Ads Manager. Now you will simply have to wait for Facebook to prepare your ad account, to connect to your pages and to finish getting everything ready for you. You will then land in the Facebook Ads Manager main dashboard, from where you are going to access all of Facebook's advertising features, including remarketing. One thing that we would like to highlight is that the Ads Manager is pretty much optimized to make it easier for you to create ads right from the get-go. The main dashboard is organized in a way that will allow you to create an ad right when you feel like it. The first step is outlined above in the campaign section where you can start by choosing to either create new campaign or use existing campaign by clicking on each corresponding tab. Right below the campaign selection section, you will find the What's Your Marketing Objective section, where you will be able to select your advertising objective. On the left-hand menu, you have an outline of the steps involved in the ad creation process. From top to bottom, these are Campaign, Ad Account, Ad Set, and Ad. We are going to go through these steps in detail in our remarketing campaign setup video. So let's simply continue checking out the Ads Manager. Let's proceed by taking a look at the options in the top panel. From right to left, the first thing you will find is a Help tab, which you can click to get a condensed help summary with tips about using your Facebook Ads Manager. And right next to it is the Settings tab, and clicking on it will take you to the Settings section. In the Settings section, you will be able to configure your ad account setup from the Ad Accounts tab. Your account setup includes your ad account ID, which can't be changed, your ad account name, your time zone, and your currency configurations. Your advertising purpose can be either set as Yes, I am buying ads for business purposes, or as No, I am not buying ads for business purposes, depending on how you are operating. Lastly, you will be able to configure your business address, business country, and tax ID number. Now in the Ad Agency menu, you will need to specify whether you are an agency buying ads on behalf of an advertiser or not. In this tab, you will also be able to configure your account's attribution and to add account roles if more people besides you are managing this Ad Manager account. Now on the Pages tab, you will be able to check and manage your Facebook pages. On the Payment Settings tab, you will be able to see your current bills, to add a payment method, and to set up your account spending limit, which is a useful feature in case that you are on a tight budget. And you will simply need to set your limit amount in the Account Spending Limit box, and then to click on Set Limit. Finally, in the Notifications tab, you will be able to activate or deactivate all ad account notifications, to specify which ad email notifications you want to receive, and what type of ad notifications you would like to receive directly on Facebook. Back on the top panel, you'll find two notification icons. The first one to the right is the Pages Notification icon, and the next one is the General Notifications icon. Now, the Account icon with your profile picture will allow you to switch between ad accounts in case you are managing more than one, to log out of your ad account, and to simply go back to your newsfeed. 
You will be able to use the search bar to find information and help topics about your ads manager, your Facebook ads account, as well as your own setups, such as campaigns, by simply entering a keyword or set of keywords. Now, by clicking on the hamburger menu tab on the top left, you can access the rest of the ads manager features. Section shortcuts in this menu include plan, create and manage, measure and report, assets, and settings. Finally, you can click on the Facebook icon to the far left to simply go back to Facebook's homepage, which is a helpful shortcut once you have finished setting up your campaigns or managing your advertising account. Tune in to our following video so we can show you how to create a Facebook remarketing pixel from your advertising dashboard. Creating a Facebook Remarketing Pixel Hey there my good friends, we are pretty sure that you are more than eager to start creating your first remarketing campaign on Facebook by now, especially after seeing the Ads Manager in action. But you won't be able to create the most basic type of remarketing campaign on Facebook unless you create your Facebook Pixel first. Thankfully, this is a pretty easy to implement task, and we are here to guide you through it the right way, step by step. But first things first, what is a Facebook Remarketing Pixel? A Facebook Remarketing Pixel is simply an HTML element that Facebook uses to track visitors of a website back to Facebook so it can show them targeted ads on their news feeds and on the right-hand column on their home pages. What a Facebook Pixel does is to add a tracking code to a specific website page, which in turn reports an action taken by visitors on that specific page back to Facebook where such visitors are traced and shown ads to. Have you noticed that when you go to certain websites, such as e-commerce sites, and then go back to Facebook, you start seeing ads promoting products or services offered by those websites on your Facebook homepage? That is the Facebook Pixel at work. What the Pixel did was to track you from the websites that you visited back to Facebook, where ads are shown to you according to the actions that you took on the pages that you visited. Creating your own Facebook Remarketing Pixel Creating a Facebook Remarketing Pixel is easier than you might think, and we are going to show you how right away. First, you have to start by logging into your Facebook account. And from there, go to the Ads Manager by clicking on the Ad Shortcut link located in the Create section under the left-hand column menu. Once in your Ads Manager dashboard, click on the Hamburger Tools menu. Now locate the Measure and Report section and click on the Pixel Shortcut link. You will be taken to the Facebook Pixels page. Once there, simply click on the Create a Pixel button. A pop-up window will appear with your account's pixel information, and you will simply have to click on the Create button to finish. Awesome! Your new Facebook Remarketing Pixel is ready to go. Please note that you will only be allowed to create one Facebook Remarketing Pixel per ad account, so you won't have to go through this step after setting it up unless you decide to create additional ad accounts. Now that you have created your Facebook Remarketing Pixel, you can start using it on your website to track your visitors for remarketing. And in order to use your Pixel on your website, you have to install it there first. And we are going to show you how in our following video, so make sure to tune in. Adding the Facebook Remarketing Pixel to your business website. Hey there, my friends. Let's continue setting up all the necessary stuff so you can start creating remarketing campaigns like a pro. In this video, you will be learning how to add the Facebook Remarketing Pixel to your business website, which is pretty easy. To get started, you will simply have to navigate to the Hamburger Tools menu on your Ads Manager dashboard. Then to click on the Pixel Shortcut link under the Measure and Report section, to go to the Facebook Pixels page, and then to click on the Set Up Pixel button once there. As you can see, there are three ways to install your Facebook Remarketing Pixel on your page. You can use an integration or tag manager, such as the Google Tag Manager and other third-party integration platforms. You can manually insert the code yourself by copying the Pixel code and inserting it on your website. And you can mail instructions to a developer that can take care of installing the Pixel for you. Just as promised, 
we are going to teach you how to add your new Facebook remarketing pixel to your business website on your own. Start by clicking on the manually install the code yourself option. Now scroll down until you find your Facebook pixel code and then click on it to copy it to your clipboard. Once you copy your Facebook pixel code, go to your website's main dashboard. Now what you will have to do is to paste your pixel code in the header section of your website between the head and head tags as per Facebook's instructions. To do that, you have to access your site's header code. In this video, we are going to use our own WordPress website to show you how to install the code the easiest ways possible. There are two ways to add this pixel code to a WordPress site. The easiest method is by using the Insert Headers and Footers plugin. To use this plugin to add your pixel to your site, you will simply have to hover over the Plugins tab on your WordPress dashboard and then to click on the Add New option. Now type Insert Headers and Footers in the Search Plugin search bar. Locate the plugin in the search results and click on the Install Now button. Then click on Activate once it installs. Now hover over the Settings tab on the dashboard left-hand menu and click on the Insert Headers and Footers option. Now simply paste your pixel code in the Scripts in Header field and click on Save. Awesome! The second method is by actually adding it to the header section of your site's code yourself. Hover over the Appearance tab on the left-hand menu and click on the Editor option. Now go to the Templates menu on the right. Locate Theme Header and click on it. Now paste your code between the Head and Head tags and then click on Update File. Once you add your pixel code by using either method, go back to where you left on Facebook and enter your website's URL in the Send Test Traffic to your pixel field and click on the Send Test Traffic button. Awesome! Your Facebook pixel is now active on your site. So simply click on Continue. In the following step, you will simply have to add your events. This means that you have to specify what types of actions you want your Facebook pixel to track on your site. The Facebook pixel will allow you to track actions such as purchases, generated leads, registrations, payment info added by customers, items added to a shopping cart or wish list, initiated checkouts, searches, and content views. Once you have selected which actions to track on your site, simply click on Done. And that's it! You will start seeing activity from your pixel once it starts tracking your website visitors' actions on your site. So keep an eye on it. Custom Audiences Hey there again, folks. We are one step closer to teaching you how to set up your first Facebook remarketing campaign. And because remarketing campaigns require you to first find leads whom to remarket to, you will need to learn to set up custom audiences before creating remarketing campaigns. In this video, we are going to teach you where to locate your custom audiences in the Ads Manager and how to create a basic custom audience to retarget the website visitors that you are tracking with your remarketing pixel. Start on the Facebook Ads Manager dashboard and click on the Tools Hamburger menu icon in the top left corner. Now go to the Assets column in the Display menu and click on the Audiences shortcut link. You will be taken to the Audiences page, where you will be able to check, create, and edit your target audiences. To manage and create custom audiences, you will simply have to click on the Create Audience drop-down menu and then to click on the Custom Audience option. So before we get started, let's quickly discuss what is a custom audience all about. A custom audience is simply an audience made of people that have an existing connection or relationship to your business. Such an audience can be made of people that have bought from your online store before, people in your email lists, people who have visited and viewed content on your website, or simply people who have engaged with your business before in one way or another and that you can retarget ads to on Facebook. As you can see here, there are several interesting ways to remarket to people in a custom audience. You can retarget people in a customer file, which will allow you to target people according to customer or subscriber information saved in a file. You can retarget website traffic, which means that you can retarget the people that have visited your website. You can retarget people by app activity, which are people who have used your Facebook apps. You can retarget people by offline activity, such as people that have bought from your offline store or that have provided you with a phone number for doing business. Finally, you can retarget people by engagement, which are people that have interacted with your content on Facebook. Now, 
We are going to give you an example of how to create a basic custom audience by selecting the website traffic remarketing objective to create a list of who have visited our website using our Facebook pixel. Once you select the website traffic objective, you have to start by selecting whom to add to your new custom audience based on your retargeting criteria. You can either include people who meet any of your retargeting criteria or people who meet all your retargeting criteria. Now you have to select retargeting criteria. You can retarget all website visitors and enter how many days after they have visited your site you will keep retargeting them. You can retarget people who have visited specific web pages on your site to enter a specific URL from your site from where to track your visitors. Now this will allow you to qualify interested visitors according to content or actions taken by visitors on those pages. Lastly, you can retarget visitors by time spent and select the percentile of time spent by visitors on your site. You can click on Include to include additional retargeting criteria or on Exclude to add criteria that excludes visitors from being retargeted if they take action on your excluding criteria. After you finish selecting your retargeting criteria, name your custom remarketing audience in the Audience Name field and then click on Create Audience. Then click on Done. Awesome! You are now ready to use this new remarketing audience on a new Facebook remarketing campaign. Tune into the following video so we can show you how. Creating a Facebook remarketing campaign. Hey there, everyone. Finally. You are now ready to launch your first Facebook remarketing campaign. We know that you have been anxiously waiting to get to this video, so let's get started now. Start on your Ads Manager dashboard. Please note that you will always land on the campaign selection screen by default every time that you open your Ads Manager account, as you can see here, which greatly simplifies the process. Now, before creating a campaign, you will be able to either create a new campaign or to use existing campaign in case that you already have campaign setup saved to use. For this example case, we are going to show you how to create a remarketing campaign from scratch. To create a new remarketing campaign, you have to start by selecting your marketing objective. Your marketing objective is what you want to see as a result of creating a Facebook remarketing campaign, such as driving more sales from existing website traffic, or getting more leads to your affiliate pages to increase affiliate profits, among others. Now, the remarketing objective that you will have to select to leverage existing traffic retargeted by your Facebook remarketing pixel is the conversions objective. Once you have selected your objective, you'll simply have to scroll down and name your new remarketing campaign in the campaign name field. Then click on the Setup Ad Account button. In the next page, you will simply have to specify your account country, your currency, and your time zone if you haven't done so already. Then click on Continue. Now you will be taken to the Ad Set page, where you will need to select the page you will be using to promote your ad, to set up your audience, your ad placements, your budget, and your schedule. Here you will have to start by naming your new ad set in the Ad Set Name field. Now on the Conversion section, you will have three types of conversions to target. Website, App, and Messenger. Select the Website Conversion and click on the Please Select the Conversion Event box to show a list of conversion events. Now select the conversion event that you want to optimize your marketing ads for. This will depend on the conversion event that you selected during your pixel setup. In the Offer section, you will have the option to set up offers to drive more conversions on your target destination by turning on the Offer option. You will simply need to select from which page you will be promoting an offer and to click on Create Offer. You then will be able to enter your offer title, your offer details, an end date, and end time for your offer. You will also be able to select whether to let your customers to redeem your offer online, in store, or both. You will also be able to generate redemption codes for your offer, to specify how many codes you will give away, and to enter your offer terms and conditions. Once you finalize configuring your offer, you will have to simply click on Create. For this example, we are going to focus on the remarketing campaign setup. So we are going to set this up as our offer. Now move to the Audience section. Here you will have the option to either create new audience or use a saved audience. In this case, you will have to make use of your custom audiences because you are going to create a remarketing campaign. So you will simply have to click on the Add Custom Audiences or Lookalike Audiences on the Create New tab. And then to select your custom audience from the custom audience list that will appear. 
Now you can click on Exclude to select custom audiences to exclude from a campaign as well. Additionally, you can further refine whom to retarget to on your custom audience by adjusting the rest of your audience settings. Start by selecting a location or series of locations in the Audiences section. You can further refine your target location by going to the Locations menu and selecting whether to target everyone in this location, people who live in this location, people recently in this location, or people traveling to this location. In the Age section, you can select a base age and a top age to target. In the Gender section, you can select to either target men, women, or all. And in the Languages field, you can type a specific language you might want to target. In the Detailed Targeting section, you can include or exclude people based on demographics, interests, and behaviors. In the Connection section, you can reach out to Facebook users according to the type of connection that they have with your page, such as people who like your page, or friends of people who like your page. If you would like to target the same audience set up in a future remarketing campaign, you can simply click on the Save Audience button. Now in the Placement section, you can select Automatic Placements or Edit Placements. Selecting Automatic Placements will serve your ads to all possible types of users on all types of devices across multiple networks, which include third-party networks. That is why we recommend you to select Edit Placements so you can select your own ad placements. Our recommendation for you is to select all devices and to deselect the audience network as well as the messenger as placement. Now in the budget and schedule section, you have to set up your budget format, amount, and schedule. You can either select a daily budget if you want to spend a specific amount on a daily basis, or you can select a lifetime budget if you want to spread a specific amount of money across your campaign's lifetime. In the schedule section, you can select the run my ad set continuously starting today option to run your ad until you decide to stop it. Or you can select the set a start date and end date option to schedule how long to run your new ad set. Our recommendation here is to set a daily budget of $5 up to $30 if you can afford it, and then start increasing your daily amount until you find a sweet spot where you get good return on investment relative to your remarketing objective. Now, when it comes to scheduling a remarketing campaign for the first time, the best approach is to test it out for 14 to 30 days. You can select Run My Ad Set Continuously Starting Today in the Schedule section to test out your remarketing campaign for a period of time and then stop it manually. Or you can select Set a Start and End Date and use the calendar option to schedule specific start and end times. Once you are done here, simply click on Continue. In the following section, you will have to edit your ad creative. Enter your ad name in the Ad Name box and select your Facebook page in the Identity section. Now in the Format section, you'll have to select the format of your ad. The carousel format allows you to insert two or more images and videos on your ad. The single image format will allow you to introduce a single image on your ad. The single video format will allow you to use a single video on your ad. Finally, you can select the slideshow format to create a looping video ad composed with up to 10 images. For this campaign, we're going to select the single image format. We are going to scroll down to the Images section and click on the Browse Library to select an image for our ad. As you can see here, you will be able to select an image from your library, from a collection of stock images, or to upload images from your computer. In our case, we are going to simply select the image from our library that best reflects our offer. Once you make your selection, click on Done. Now move to the link section. In this section, you will insert your URLs, your ad copy, your headline, your ad text, and your calls to action. Start by entering your landing page's URL in the website URL field. Now in the headline field, you have to enter an attention-grabbing headline for your remarketing ad. In our case, we are going to simply enter the name of our business. In the text field, you will have to enter an inviting call to action text related to the content or your offers and the placements that you are tracking on your website. In the call to action menu, you can select a working call to action button for your remarketing ad from the vast selection of call to action buttons available. In our case, we're going to select the no button option. Finally, in the news feed link description, you have to add a very short but inviting description of your site. You can check the ad preview section on the right hand side to see how your ad is going to look on different placements, such as desktop and mobile feeds. Once you are done here, simply click on the confirm button and wait for your remarketing ad to be approved. And that's it. Join us in the following section so we can teach you some advanced level Facebook remarketing strategies.
Hello there, folks. Welcome to Section 3 of our Facebook Remarketing 3.0 video training series. In this section, we are going to walk you through proven, advanced-level Facebook remarketing strategies that will leave your competition out of the game. Here's a summary of the content in the section to give you an idea of what you'll be learning next. Remarketing to your existing customers. Remarketing to app users. Remarketing to engagement audiences. Remarketing to users who never open your emails. Using content series to remarket to hard-to-get leads. Additional Facebook remarketing tips and tricks. So get on your marks, because we are going to get started now. Remarketing to your existing customers. All right, folks, let's create a remarketing campaign that you can use to reach your existing customers. Start on the Facebook Ads Manager dashboard and click on the Tools Hamburger menu icon in the top left corner. Now click on the Audiences shortcut link in the Assets section of the Tools menu to go to the Audiences page. Now click on the Create Audience drop-down menu and then click on the Custom Audience option. Now select the Customer File option. This option will allow you to use a customer file to match your existing customers that are registered on Facebook and to create a custom audience from the matches for remarketing. You will be given three options to create a custom audience from a customer file. First, you will have the option to add customers from your own file or copy and paste data, to import from MailChimp, or to add a customer file with lifetime value. To create a remarketing campaign to reach your existing customers, you will need to use your own customer file. So click on the Add Customers from Your Own File or Copy and Paste Data option. First, you will be asked to add a customer list. To do this, you can either add a new file or copy and paste the customer data. In this video, we are going to show you how to upload a customer data file to create your customer file audience. When selecting this option, we recommend you to use the Download File Template button. To open the file template after downloads, and then to edit the data on the template according to your own customer data. In our case, you can see how we are going to add a single test customer for this custom audience. We start by clearing all the placeholder data in the template that we are not going to edit over. Now, we are only going to use five pieces of customer data for our customer file. Our customer's email, first and last names, country of residence, and gender. So we clear all the attributes that we are not going to use. We then edit the placeholder information to enter our own, and then save. Once saved, you can click on the Upload File button to upload your saved file from your computer. Once uploaded, simply click on Next. Now make sure that the correct data is marked green. Then click on Upload and Create. Wait for your file to load and click on Done. Awesome! Now your customer file audience is saved. Let's now show you how to create the remarketing campaign to reach these existing customers. Start by clicking on the Create Ad button located in the left-hand corner. Now select your remarketing objective on the campaign page. For this example, we are going to select the conversions objective to retarget our existing customer file audience. Once you have selected your objective, you'll simply have to scroll down and name your new remarketing campaign in the campaign name field, and then to click on the conversion shortcut under the ad set section in the left-hand menu. Start by naming your new ad set in the ad set name field. Now in the conversion section, select the website option and click on the please select a conversion event box to select the conversion event that you want to optimize your remarketing campaign for. Now select whether to activate or not activate an offer on your ad set in the offer section and move to the audience section. Click on the add custom audiences or lookalike audiences box and on the create new tab, select your customer file audience from the list. Now. You won't need to adjust additional audience targeting options in the audience section in cases where you are using an existing customer file audience because your audience is already very precisely targeted and your remarketing campaign will only target people in your customer file that are also registered on Facebook or they can be reached on the audience network. In light of that, you'll simply have to proceed by scrolling down to the placement section. Because your target audience is pretty much defined already, a recommendation is to select the Automatic Placements option in order to reach people in your customer file wherever possible. Now in the Budget and Schedule section, you should set a daily budget of $5 up to $30. And to select the Run My Ad Set Continuously Starting Today option in the Schedule section. To run your ad continuously for 14 straight days under your watch, so you can optimize your marketing campaigns right after according to your results. Once done here, simply click on Continue. 
Now, you will have to edit your ad creative. Enter your ad name in the ad name box and select your Facebook page in the identity section. Now in the format section, you will have to select the format of your ad. For this example campaign, we are not going to select an image for our ad because we are going to allow Facebook to pull a specific image from our landing page. So we scroll down past the images section. Remember that once in the link section, you will have to insert your URLs, your ad copy, your headline, your ad text, and your calls to action. Starting in the website URL field, enter the specific page where you want your retargeted leads to convert. In our case, we are going to enter the URL of a page where we reviewed an affiliate product in order to get our retargeted leads to convert by following the affiliate links in our review. This is an effective strategy because they are already familiar with our content and affiliate offers. Once again, we are going to use a headline field to enter the name of our business, which will help our retargeted leads to recall our brand. Then in the text field, you have to enter copy that is descriptive of the contents of your landing page. In the call to action menu, you can select the call to action that best fits your offer or destination content. In our case, we are going to select the learn more call to action. Finally, in the news feed link description, you can add a brief line of copy with niche keywords that can trigger an emotional response from your leads. We recommend you to check the ad preview button on the right hand side to see how your new remarketing ad will look on your target placements. Finally, remember to click on the confirm button and wait for your remarketing ad to be approved. You will get your existing customers coming back on a more regular basis to your site this way. Remarketing to App Users Hey there again, my dear friends. Let's now create a remarketing campaign that you can use to reach your Facebook app users. Start on the Facebook Ads Manager dashboard and click on the Tools menu in the top left corner. And click on the Audience Shortcut link in the Assets section of the Tools menu to go to the Audiences page. Now click on the Create Audience drop-down menu and then click on the Custom Audience option. Now select the App Activity option. This option will allow you to create and retarget a list of people who have launched your apps or games on Facebook. Now it is time to create your new app user custom audience. Start by selecting whom to either include, people who meet any of your retargeting criteria, or people who meet all your retargeting criteria. Now select the app that you want to retarget users of. After selecting your app, you have to select your app user retargeting criteria in the menu below. There are several app user retargeting criteria available. You can retarget anyone who opened the app and select how many days after opening your app should targets remain in this audience. You can retarget most active users and then select the top percentile of active users to target, as well as to select how many days after being active users should remain in this audience. You can retarget users by purchased amount and then select the top percentile of users that have spent the most money on your app as targets, as well as how many days after spending money in your app should targets remain in this audience. Lastly, you can retarget users by segment, by targeting segments of app users that you can define by actions taken, demographics, devices used, and more. Remember that you can click on Include More to include additional retargeting criteria or on Exclude to add criteria that excludes visitors from being retargeted if they meet your excluding criteria. Now name your new app user audience in the audience name box and click on Create Audience. You can now start remarketing to your app users by clicking on Create an ad using the audience. Now select your remarketing objective in the campaign page. For this example, we are going to select the traffic objective. Now name your new remarketing campaign in the campaign name field and then click on the Ad Set section shortcut in the left-hand menu. Start by naming your new ad set in the Ad Set Name field. Now select the Website option in the Conversion section. Now select whether to activate or not activate an offer in your ad set in the Offer section, and move to the Audience section. As you can see, our new app user audience is already selected in the Custom Audiences section, because we opted to create an ad with this audience after we set it up. Remember that you can adjust additional audience targeting options in the audience section. Better to refine your target audience. In our case, we are only going to enter the English language in the languages section. To target English speakers among our app users, 
because we are going to send them to our website. Now in the placement section, we recommend you to select the automatic placements option in order to reach your app users in all placements. Now in the budget and schedule section, we recommend you to set a daily budget of $5 up to $30 and to select the Run My Ad Set Continuously Starting Today option in the schedule section to run your ad continuously for 14 straight days. Now click on Continue and proceed to edit your ad creative. Enter your ad name in the ad name box and select whether to create a new ad or to use an existing post. If you decide to create a new ad, you will have to select your format, your ad images or videos to edit your links, your copy, and your calls to action. In our example case, we are going to select the Use Existing Post option to use one of our posts with clickable URLs already in place to send app users to our website. We will simply have to select our Facebook page in the Identity section and then to select our promoted post on the Creative section. Remember to check the Ad Preview section to see how your new remarketing ad will look on your target placements. And then to click on the Confirm button and to wait for your remarketing ad to be approved. And that is it! Your app users will now be re-engaged the right way. Remarketing to Engagement Audiences Hey there everyone! Let's now show you how to remarket to people who have engaged with your business on Facebook. Start on the Facebook Ads Manager dashboard and click on the Tools menu. Then click on the Audiences shortcut link in the Assets section to go to the Audiences page. Now click on the Create Audience drop-down menu and then click on the Custom Audience option. Now select the Engagement option. This option will allow you to create and retarget a list of people who have engaged with your content on Facebook or on Instagram. Now, there are several engagement activities that you can target. You can target video engagement to create a list of people who have spent time watching your videos on Facebook or Instagram, and you can retarget lead form engagement to create a list of people who have opened or completed a form in your lead ads on Facebook or Instagram. You can target full screen engagement to create a list of people who have opened your collection ads or canvas on Facebook. You can target Facebook page engagement to create a list of people who have interacted with your Facebook business page. You can target Instagram business profile engagement to create a list of people who have interacted with your Instagram business profile. And you can target event engagement to remarket the people who have interacted with your events on Facebook. The type of engagement that you select will depend entirely on what type of interactions you want to track and target. In this video, we are going to show you how to remarket to engagement audiences that have interacted with your Facebook pages by selecting the Facebook page option. After selecting this objective, select whom to include in this remarketing audience, either people who meet any of your retargeting criteria or people who meet all your retargeting criteria. Now select the Facebook page that you want to remarket people on below. Now it is time to select your retargeting criteria. As you can see, there are extensive retargeting criteria for Facebook page engagement. You can remarket to everyone who engaged with your page, anyone who visited your page, people who engaged with any post or ad, people who clicked any call to action button, people who sent a message to your page, and to people who saved your page or any post. For this example, we are going to select the everyone who engaged with your page criteria. Remember that you can click on include more to add more additional retargeting criteria and on exclude to add excluding criteria. Lastly, enter your new engagement audience name in the audience name box and click on create audience. You can now start remarketing to your new engagement audience by clicking on create an ad using the audience. Select your remarketing objective in the campaign page. Once again, we are going to select the traffic objective to get more people to our website, where they can check our affiliate content. Name your new remarketing campaign in the campaign name field. After selecting your objective, and click on the Ad Set section shortcut in the left-hand menu. Now name your new ad set in the Ad Set Name field. Select the Website option in the Conversion section. Now select whether to activate or not activate an offer on your ad set in the Offer section and move to the Audience section. You'll notice that your engagement audience is already selected in the Custom Audiences section because you already opted to create an ad with this audience after setting it up. However, 
you can always adjust additional audience targeting options in the audience section to better refine your target audience. In our case, we are only going to click on edit locations to target high spending English speaking locations and to enter the English language in the languages section to target English speakers. Now in the placement section, we recommend you to select the edit placements option and to deselect the audience network in order to only retarget engaged users where they are most likely to hang out. Now in the budget and schedule section, we recommend you to set a daily budget of $5 up to $30 and to select the run my ad set continuously starting today option in the schedule section to run your ad continuously for 30 straight days. Now click on continue and proceed to edit your ad creative. Enter your ad name in the ad name box and select whether to create a new ad or to use an existing post. If you decide to create a new ad, you will have to start from scratch by selecting your ad format, your ad images or videos to edit your links, your copy and your calls to action. In our example case, we are going to select the use existing post option, choose one of our posts with clickable URLs already in place to engage users on our website. We will simply have to select our Facebook page on the identity section and then to select our promoted post on the creative section. Remember to check the ad preview section to see how your new remarketing ad will look on your target placements and then to click on the confirm button and to wait for your remarketing ad to be approved. And that is it. Your engaged users will now be offered a new way to reconnect with your business online. Remarketing to users who never open your emails. Hey there, folks. Let's create a remarketing campaign that you can use to reach subscribers that never open your emails. Now, the curious thing about this strategy is that it will require you to first create a customer list with the email addresses of the people who do not open your emails. To do so, you will need to export a customer file from your email marketing service. In this video, we are going to show you how to use MailChimp to export a customer file with the email addresses of people who don't open your emails. You will simply have to log into your MailChimp account. Then click on the Lists tab. Now go to your list of mailing lists and select the one where you would like to get your non-opening contacts from. Then click on the drop-down menu button corresponding to this list and click on Manage Contacts. On the following page, click on the Manage Contacts menu and then click on View Contacts. Now click on the Create a Segment tab. Select All in the Contacts Match menu. Then go to the Conditions section below. From left to right, start by selecting the Campaign Activity option from the Subscriber Data menu. Then select the Did Not Open option on the next menu. And then select All of the Last 5 Campaigns option from the Aggregate Campaigns menu. Now click on the Preview Segment button. On the following page, click on the Export Segment button. And then click on the Export as CSV button corresponding to your exported segment. Now you will simply have to decompress your new customer file and go to Facebook. Once on Facebook, go to the Ads Manager dashboard and click on the Tools menu icon. Now click on the Audiences shortcut link in the Assets section of the Tools menu to go to the Audiences page. Now click on the Create Audience drop-down menu and then click on the Custom Audience option. Now select the Customer File option. This option will allow you to use your newly created customer file to match your non-opening leads with their Facebook account. So click on the Add Customers from your own file or copy and paste data option to get started. You will now be asked to add a customer list. You can either add a new file or copy and paste the customer data. Because you will be using the customer file that you just created on MailChimp, you will simply have to click on the Upload File button to upload that file from your computer. Once uploaded, simply click on Next. Now make sure that the email identifier is marked green. You can select other identifiers in your customer list to be added in your customer data map. But we recommend against doing so because this might alter your remarketing results. Once done here, click on Upload and Create. Wait for your file to load and click on Done. Awesome! Now you will be able to show your non-opening customers all that they have been missing out on.
is in content series to remarket to hard to get leads. Hey there, my friends. One of the harshest inevitable facts of doing online marketing is that, on average, only 2% to 5% of leads convert. That means that over 90% of your leads might not convert at all. And that is a problem right there with cold advertising. You have to be willing to sacrifice a good chunk of your marketing budget on a non converting 90% in order to reach the qualified 5%. Hopefully by now you know how to take care of non-converted leads with remarketing. And we are glad to tell you that we are about to teach you an incredibly effective strategy that will boost your Facebook remarketing performance. This strategy is the creation of content series. Content series are a linear series of content that are distributed as episodic content. Content series work well because they allow you to capture the attention of uninterested leads in incremental steps. A content series work on any niche and with any type of content. And you will simply have to pull data from your finished remarketing campaigns to know who to retarget to with a content series. Getting started. You have to start by devising a funnel to deliver your content in incremental steps until you are able to deliver a conversion. Normally, these funnels are separated into three stages. Attention, consideration, and conversion. In the attention stage, you will simply have to target a non-converting lead with a remarketing ad offering them access to a non-gated piece of long-form content, which you can do with a clickable single image or single video Facebook ad. This will capture the attention of your non-converting lead with brand recall. In the consideration stage, you'll have to retarget a non-converting lead with a second piece of premium content that is divided into two parts. The one that you will give access to in this second stage is the first part of the content. You can gauge the interest of the non-converting lead in this stage by setting up a conversion event through your remarketing pixel in the page where this content is served to your non-converting leads. Finally, in the conversion stage, you can include an opt-in form at the end of the page where the first part of the content is, as well as to set up a remarketing ad with an opt-in form to retarget leads that do not convert on that page in order to get this lead to convert. It will work because this final piece of content is a gated piece of content that the non-converting lead can access by opting in with their email address. An example of this would be if you had an ebook for sale and you see that there are people that visit the sales page for that ebook on a very regular basis, yet they don't buy it and they don't even opt into your email list to receive updates for the ebook in question. What you have to do then is to create a content series that closely mimics the content of the ebook to make non-converting leads to think that you are releasing the material periodically for free. Then ask them for their email addresses before they can access the last part of the content series. And then start remarketing to them right to their email addresses. Release content three times a week. On Tuesdays, on Thursdays, or on Fridays. Finally, on Saturday, release the final piece of content but make it half the content that you have already published. Once leads reach the final part, send them to a landing page where a summary of the remaining content is presented in bullet list format. Then send them to a white paper landing page after they sign up and send them the rest of the content through email once they sign up. In any case, here is a summary list of the elements worth relying on when setting up a content series the right way. A blog post dedicated to a piece of content related to the product that hard-to-get leads are interested in. This section needs to be delivered on a three-part basis. A landing page where to send them to once the final piece of content is delivered. Remember that this landing page summarizes the final aspects of the content in bullet list format. A white paper landing page to offer them a freebie with the remaining content in exchange for their email address. Additional Facebook Remarketing Tips and Tricks Hey there, good friends. If there's one thing that we have learned throughout the years is to always keep on learning and experimenting. The only caveat of trying and experimenting is that you have to fail a lot along the way in order to find out what works and what doesn't. The good thing is, is that you discover lots of high-level tricks that you wouldn't have been able to find anywhere else otherwise. Here are some of the best tips and tricks that have worked for us over the years. Remarketing to specific landing page visitors. 
if there is one constant that you see across Facebook remarketing campaigns is that they tend to target website visitors too broadly. While it is a good thing to set up a remarketing campaign to reach all website visitors, it is also a good practice to remarket to specific visitors on specific pages. For example, you can create remarketing campaigns to remarket to visitors of your sales pages. Now, it won't be enough to retarget them with ads, but to retarget them with highly targeted ads that are relevant to the people visiting a specific sales page. Remember to exclude converters. You have to always be in the lookout for those leads who have already taken an action, such as people that have read a piece of content, people that have clicked through with certain affiliate links, and people who have purchased certain products. Once you identify those converters, you will have to exclude them from the campaigns where you were originally retargeting them on, and to add them to a different campaign with a different objective to drive a different type of conversion from them, which leads us to our following tip. Add a re-engagement stage to remarketing funnel. The beautiful thing about Facebook remarketing is that it doesn't have to end after you have converted leads. However, you will see lots of remarketers neglecting leads after they have converted, thinking that they will come back on their own. The truth is that very rarely will they come back on their own, unless they are brand ambassadors or repeat customers. That is why you have to add re-engagement as the last stage in your remarketing funnel. What this means is that you will have to retarget leads with different remarketing campaigns after converting them on a previous campaign. Always split test your remarketing ads. We recommend you to create different variations of the same ad under the same campaign to track how they perform when targeted at the same audiences. This will allow you to optimize your remarketing ads based on what works best and to drive more conversions from that effort. Integrate your email marketing efforts with your Facebook remarketing efforts. Email keeps on being one of the most effective online marketing methods. And what better way to leverage its power than by integrating email with Facebook remarketing? Facebook allows you to import contacts for MailChimp. So you can simply sign up for a free MailChimp account, set up your mailing list there, and then to use the customer file option when creating a custom audience to import your subscribers to a custom audience on Facebook. Hey there again, my friends. Welcome to Section 4 of our Facebook Remarketing 3.0 video training. Additional tips to consider. In this section, we are going to close this training series by discussing what works and what doesn't for Facebook remarketing, as well as by answering some of the questions that you will find yourself asking while you advance in your remarketing efforts. Here's a summary of what you will find in this section. Do's and don'ts. Premium tools and services to consider. Shocking case studies and frequently asked questions. So, let's start by taking a look at the do's and don'ts of Facebook remarketing. Do's and don'ts. Do's. Track efficiently. Depending on your content management system platform and your marketing objective, you will leave a lot on the table if you don't set up an efficient tracking system, as well as an efficient tracking strategy after you install your tracking pixel on your website. Using plugins to manage custom audiences and setting up individual retargeting pixels for each website that you will be remarketing from are great starting points. Segment your remarketing audiences. Segmenting audiences into specific landing page visitors, blog readers, and people who have abandoned your shopping carts, to give you a few examples, is a great way to avoid remarketing to everyone the same way. Exclude converters. Remember to exclude people that have converted from your campaigns after they have completed the target actions. Set up a remarketing funnel. You have to set up a remarketing funnel to move your targets from one step of the customer journey to the other by setting up different remarketing campaigns with different objectives. That way, you would be moving your customers from awareness to consideration to purchase efficiently. Match offers with qualifying audiences. You have to match the right type of audience with the right type of remarketing offer. For example, you can retarget visitors that have spent some time reading your material with a free ebook but you shouldn't retarget them with a sale. Bid less for non-converters. Non-converters are always going to be a valuable asset, as long as they keep coming back, but make sure to not overbid on them. Keep an eye on your ad frequency. The highest ad frequency on Facebook remarketing campaigns should be kept at one to three views, up to 10 views maximum, as that is when the click-through cost will increase. 
Split test. Make sure to test out two or more variations of the same adverts, each one with different assets, and then look at the results to see which variation performs better, then keep optimizing it accordingly. Review your placements. Some audiences respond better to remarketing on certain environments and on certain devices. So make sure to check how well your remarketing materials perform on desktop and mobile, as well as whether they perform better on the news feed or on the right-hand column. Limit your ad appearance. Place a cap on your daily budget to avoid showing your ads to the same people the entire day, or else you will risk your targets getting blind to your remarketing efforts. Don't. Don't sell past the sale. There is no use to keep retargeting people that have converted with a sale with the same offer. Instead, move them to a different campaign where you retarget them with an incentive or an upsell. Don't target all visitors the same. All your website visitors are different. Some will land on your site by accident. Some will be repeat readers. Some will be simple researchers. And some will be potential customers in need of a little push to make their final purchasing decision. So target them accordingly. Don't overestimate daily performance. Daily performance is not an indicator of remarketing success, as there are many factors that can contribute to or affect your remarketing efforts. And some leads can take days or weeks before they engage with your remarketing or convert. So make sure to analyze your performance over time instead. Don't ignore high-selling seasons. You have to prepare season-specific remarketing material to retarget people during national festivities, the holidays, and worldwide spending sprees such as Black Friday. Don't be repetitive. Don't show the exact same adverts to the same people all the time, as this will cause remarketing to lose value. Don't ask for useless lead info. Don't ask for useless personal information such as phone numbers or addresses to your targets in the consideration stage if it doesn't make sense to your offer. For example, only ask for your first name and email address to people whom you are offering a free ebook to. Don't stop your campaigns too early. We've seen many marketers stop their campaigns when they don't see a sale on the first day. Keep in mind that, like we said before, most targets can take days, even weeks before acting on your remarketing. So be persistent. Don't rely on external analytic tools. Most external analytic tools such as Google Analytics will give you unreliable data about your Facebook remarketing. So it's okay to always check your metrics using the Ads Manager. Don't retarget highly niche audiences. Highly niche audiences are not likely to respond to remarketing because the people in such audiences are already the ones looking after the niche offer in question. In fact, Facebook won't allow you to retarget certain audiences when they're too narrow. So take that into consideration. Don't overuse static ads. It has been found that remarketing campaigns work best when they serve a combination of dynamic ads, such as video ads and carousel ads with static, single image ads. So take your time with your ad creatives. Premium Tools and Services to Consider AdRoll AdRoll is an advertising platform among big names such as Salesforce. As a third-party Facebook remarketing provider, it offers powerful segmentation features and one of the lowest CPMs available in the industry, Perfect Audience. Perfect Audience is a third-party Facebook remarketing platform that focuses on capitalizing U.S.-based ad impressions on Facebook. It offers an excellent self-serving dashboard that will make it easier for you to track clicks, drive conversions, and to manage multiple users. Quaya. Quaya is a Facebook-focused tool that every remarketer should have in its arsenal. One of its most lauded features is its A-B testing capability, which will allow you to test every ad variable imaginable without spending a dime or launching your campaigns to try them out. PageMoto. PageMoto is an advertising tool that provides Facebook remarketers with a wide selection of ad templates, free of royalty images, powerful ad builder capabilities, built-in retargeting, segmentation, analytics, and performance tools. DriftRock DriftRock is a social media automation tool with powerful features for Facebook remarketers that include signal-triggered ads, automated optimizations, and lead response. AdSpringer most remarketers have a difficult time reading and understanding analytic results, which are vital to optimize remarketing campaigns. AdSpringer is an advanced advertising tool for Facebook remarketers looking for a solution 
providing them with analysis and performance reporting, optimization, high-level targeting, automated client reporting, automated graphical reporting, and visual representation of important Facebook remarketing parameters. Social Ads Tool Social Ads Tool is a great platform for remarketing agencies and freelance remarketers that service business owners because it truly delivers lead generation success. It offers automatic ad customizations, deep reporting, and conversion tracking, which is one important metric to track on remarketing campaigns. Ad Espresso If there is one platform that we would recommend to rookie remarketers, Ad Espresso would be the one. It is a simplified analytics platform specially designed for Facebook advertisers and remarketers. And it is considered to be one of the simplest, more straightforward analytic tools for digital marketers. It offers easy-to-understand visual analytics, customizable dashboards, and very detailed metrics. Conversion Giant Conversion Giant is a remarketing agency that specializes in re-engaging the average 94% of people that don't convert after visiting a business website. Its most popular service as of this date is Facebook Remarketing, and the company itself takes care of everything. WordStream WordStream is a web-based social management software that will allow you to simplify and improve your Facebook remarketing workflow through perspective alerts that are customized for the Facebook advertising platform. Shocking Case Studies Thrive Thrive is a digital advertising agency from the U.S. with offices in Dallas, Orlando, and other U.S. locations. Objective The company's objective was to see how high the Facebook remarketing pixel could increase metrics such as audience, engagement, and reach on a client's campaign. Strategy The company's strategy was to untarget vague audience criteria such as interests and behaviors to create look-alike audiences that were similar to the client's current customer base and to position the remarketing pixel in key areas around the client's website. Results? The campaign achieved peak engagement during the first three months of the campaign, and their client's referral traffic increased by 132% in a single month. Inbound Ascension Inbound Ascension is a digital remarketing agency founded by Daniel Danes Hutt, and internationally recognized and certified digital marketer and marketing consultant. Objective Daniel's objective was to reach qualified leads whom to sell a digital product in the beta testing stage of development through Facebook remarketing. Strategy Daniel set up remarketing campaigns that only targeted very interested leads, and he only served remarketing ads on very specific placements. Daniel also only spent from $0.40 cents to $0.44 cents per click-through as a challenge. Results the campaign made back $297 from each targeted lead, which represents a 695% return on investment from such a small amount per lead. Chubbies Chubbies is an in-store and online retailer that specializes in colorful, retro-inspired swimwear. Objective The company's objective was to increase their reach as well as brand recall. Strategy The company split up its Facebook remarketing campaigns with different specific placements. One campaign set was targeting the news feed, and another campaign was targeting the right-hand column. Results? The remarketing campaigns achieved a pretty cool 35.5% return on investment, lowered their average cost per action to 72% below average, and increased their average conversions by 4.8 times within 12 hours of campaign launches. Marketing Jump Leads Marketing Jump Leads is a UK-based marketing agency that has helped around 700 businesses in the UK to succeed. Objective The marketing agency's objective was to remarket to lost customers of a British spa and wellness business. Strategy The agency created a remarketing campaign to target a customer file audience where customers who had not booked a service in three months were added. These lost customers received a time-restricted remarketing offer to come back to the spa. Results on average, there are 10 to 12 lost customers coming back to the spa each month, thanks to such Facebook remarketing efforts, each one spending from 80 to 100 pounds per booking. James Grandstaff James Grandstaff is a digital marketing strategist that specializes in Facebook advertising. Objective? James's objective was to help a client in the horse training niche who wanted to increase profitability from his existing traffic. 
strategy? James created a Facebook remarketing campaign that targeted website visitors who have completed certain actions and offered them different incentives, such as coupons for them to come back and use on the client's website. Results? James's Facebook remarketing campaign reduced the client's ad spend by almost four times, from $196 all the way down to $59, and got two times more conversions as well. Design Pickle Design Pickle is a cloud-based graphic design company that provides personalized graphic design support services. Objective? The company wanted to promote their innovative design service through a free trial that allowed its leads to try its service. Strategy? The company implemented a Facebook remarketing campaign that targeted visitors on the sales page. Results? Conversions from the sales page accounted for 17 for every 30 customers, with 50% of new customers generated through the remarketing campaign. Brian Morin Brian Morin is a digital marketer and the creator of SamCart, an online tool used by entrepreneurs to maximize their sales. Objective Brian's objective was to test how effective Facebook remarketing would be to increase sales of his courses and other training products. Strategy Brian created a custom audience to remarket to his existing email list, a look-like version of his existing email list, and a custom audience using Facebook's native advertising features. Results? Brian was able to earn $14,114 in profits after spending $8,240 on its remarketing campaign. V-Roll. V-Roll is a video advertising company that specializes in auto-generating video ads for Facebook and YouTube. Objective. V-Roll's objective was to improve their campaign performance, to track referral conversions from Facebook, and to generate leads to reach other businesses. Strategy. V-Roll implemented Facebook's remarketing pixel on its website to retarget visitors with video ads in Facebook. Results? By implementing Facebook remarketing on its advertising efforts, V-Roll was able to lower its average cost per click and to generate 122 new signups during the first two weeks, which are generating $11,000 in monthly revenue as of now. Paul Romando Paul Romando is a successful digital marketer that specializes in creating Facebook marketing strategies and devising digital marketing funnels. Objective Paul's objective was to create a specific sales funnel for one of his clients which allowed leads to opt in for content related to a product in order to drive sales. Strategy Paul used Facebook ads to create campaigns to reach and nurture leads through relevant lead magnets, and then created custom audiences where he added leads in the funnel and then retargeted them with product ads. Results Paul was able to generate a revenue of $163,969 from $5,989 in ad spend for his client. My Fix Cycles. My Fix Cycles is a Canadian online retailer of single speed and fixed gear bikes for city dwellers. Objective. The company's objective was to improve their advertising performance. Strategy. The advertising agency working with My Fix Cycles created a series of custom audiences to target past website visitors. People who have added products to a shopping cart in the past 14 days and people who have made a purchase in the past 180 days. Results. This Facebook remarketing campaign setup generated $15 in revenue from every $1 spent on Facebook remarketing ads. Frequently Asked Questions Can you start remarketing on Facebook right away? Facebook remarketing will only work when you already have regular website visitors, leads subscribe to your lists, or existing customers to name a few. That is why it is called remarketing. Your best bet would be to first concentrate on engaging people and nurturing leads before getting into remarketing. How many people should there be on a custom audience to increase delivery? While the minimum number of matched contacts that you need to target on a custom audience is 20, the effective number of matches to increase delivery is 100 contacts. And even with 100 contacts, you will be reaching minimum delivery. So make sure to first reach over 100 people with your marketing efforts before remarketing to them. What are some of the fastest results that you can see with Facebook remarketing? Recovering and re-engaging lost audiences, transforming top-of-the-funnel traffic into engagement and actual conversions, remarketing to people who have been on your website and getting sales from it, 
Upselling to people who have made recent purchases and re-engaging product advocates are some of the fastest results that we've seen from Facebook remarketing. Will Facebook remarketing work for you if you don't install the Facebook Pixel on your website? Yes, the Facebook Pixel is used to retarget people the classic way, which is by tracking them from your website to Facebook and then showing them ads there. However, there are Facebook remarketing setups that do not rely on the Facebook Pixel, such as custom audiences created from a customer file, or custom audiences that retarget people who have engaged with your business on Facebook. Is the Facebook remarketing Pixel a cookie? Although Facebook Pixels and cookies serve a similar purpose, they are different. A Pixel is an HTML element that is stored on a confirmation page and that tracks conversions on the page whereas a cookie is a server-based file that generates a unique ID for every user that visits a website in order to identify and track that user on the web. Pixels in general are more precise than cookies, and they do not expire. What is the benefit of using third-party Facebook remarketing platforms? The main benefit would be that third-party Facebook remarketing platforms can provide you with custom remarketing configurations that will allow you to simplify your Facebook remarketing workflow. When is it wise to stop ads in third-party remarketing platforms to go back to Facebook? There are going to be times when third-party remarketing platforms will feel limited to you because they have to go through the Facebook ad exchange in order to bid for ad placements and also because they don't have access to all of Facebook ads inventory. So the wise thing is to use third-party remarketing platforms for convenience and to go directly to Facebook to set up the more complex remarketing campaigns. Should you stop retargeting website visitors to focus on nurturing existing leads? Only if you are not getting new website visitors, which is unlikely. What you have to do is to exclude website visitors that do not convert after 30 days of visiting your website, or to retarget them with different incentives depending on the pages they spend the most time on and the actions they take on your website. What is the benefit of remarketing to engaged customers? The main benefit of remarketing to the people that are already likely to keep acting on your remarketing ads is to keep a good relevance score. The relevance score is a metric that indicates how relevant your adverts are. The higher your relevance score is, the less that you will pay for your ads, and the most that they will be shown to your target audience. Engaged customers sooner or later convert into brand loyalists, and they will keep interacting with your ads and your promoter posts, which will keep your relevance score in good standing. So make sure to create custom audiences to retarget your existing customers. Should you keep your remarketing campaigns running until you exhaust your budget if you set a lifetime budget? You will know that it is time to stop your remarketing campaigns when you've reached your remarketing goal, as there's no point in keeping your retargeting ads running after that, which is the easiest way to fatigue your audience.